Hello? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Justin, where are you calling us from, Justin? College Park, Atlanta. College. Say it again, College Park? Yeah. How old are you? 43. 43. Um, what you do for a living, Justin? Law enforcement. Law enforcement. Ooh, are you a police officer? Something like that. <laughs> so what is something like that? What do you do in law enforcement? I do that, though. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sounds. It does sound more professional than police officer. What's your zodiac sign, Justin? Leo. Say again? Leo. Leo. Okay. Leo. Justin, College Park, 43 Leo. Do you have any kids? One. How old is your child? About to be seven in two weeks. Okay. Have you been married? No. No. All right. So here we go. We got Justin, College Park, 43 Leo, law enforcement, one child at seven, never married. What kind of woman are you looking for, Justin? Honest, uh, caring, compassionate, uh, pretty on the eyes. That's subjective, subjective, subjective. Um, and uh, yeah, nurturing. Yeah, that's better. Nurturing. Nurturing is probably the number one key word I'm hearing for a lot of men's requests these days. Nurturing. Is that I'm hearing nurturing more than submissive. I actually like that because I feel like. Most women want to be nurturers for the right man. What are your deal breakers? Lie cheaters. Um, I guess love not being reciprocated evenly. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm feeling a certain type of way and I feel it's not coming back to me, I, I can't deal with that. Say again. If I'm feeling a certain type of way about a woman, um, and I feel I get the feeling that it's not coming back to me, it's not reciprocated uh, properly. I can't deal with that. You can't deal with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you wanna you want the what you give you wanna get in return. There you go. All right. Should she look a certain way? You kind of mentioned it already. Yeah. Um. Of course, you know everybody has their own opinions about looks and things, though. But uh, someone who takes care of themselves to to a degree. You know, I dated women who are um, people call BBWs. You know, thin chicks. Um. But if I find it pleasantly pleasing, you know, I just don't want nobody who doesn't completely take care of themselves they let themselves go. But you got to kind of have some type of standard and keep yourself up to some type of degree. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? No, not really. I kind of make, I make a little bit. <laughs> oh, you don't care how much she makes. Oh, you said, you said you do good. I do, I do pretty good. You know? Okay. So he's not worried about your money. All right. Let's do the Kendra cam, Justin. Okay. I'm gonna put this up. Oh, you in good shape. Okay. Well, you are a police officer. You gotta run, huh? Yeah, I do sometimes. Sometimes your cubs will be out here acting up, so I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> well, no, I, 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 I was, listen, I was about to say they ain't my cousins, but they are my cousins. Shout, you know, I got some cousins that might be at your job behind the bars. Shout out to my cousins who be watching us from jail. I got one cousin. I was on BT child. What's I, I forget my cousin in jail right now. Uh, my cousin with a K. He, he's my cousin with a K. He told me on Instagram, he's going, he said, I'm watching you from prison. So shout out to all my prison cousins. Who be who be fighting for the TV to support Kendra G and who got phones? Because I still believe phones are illegal in jail, child. But they found a phone. Some of them to watch have this show. Some, some of them, them have. Phones? Some of them have. Uh, some of them uh, can have. Them. You know, they have iPhones and things. Uh, not iPhones, but like so iPads. Legal, and... Okay, so you can legally have an iPhone or I, iPad in jail. Yeah, depending on the classification and tier um, of the prison that you're in. Um, you know, they allow them to have, you know, those type of devices, you know, like low, uh, low risk. Yeah, they, they allow that. I did not know that. Also, there are some legally behind bars. They can have phones and, and iPads. Yeah, like the little iPads and, you know, they can watch music, shows, do the things that they need to do on it. Oh, try to find out jail is free rent. <laughs> <laughs> but if you got all that, child, huh. <laughs> Um, I, but I still don't want to find out. All right, let's keep going. All right, Justin, what was your last relationship? Uh, about two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. What was the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, that was a while ago. Damn, that two years ago. Okay. Two years ago. Are you on a celibacy journey? No, nah, my partner had passed away. 
I didn't know this. Your partner, your your woman? Yeah. Well, do you do you want to share? You don't have to share. No. Uh, we are very sad. I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah. that. Okay. Well, sorry that you had to go through that. Um, three flaws you have to work on when it comes to a relationship. I can say one thing: procrastination. <laughs> um, I can I procrastinate, especially with myself and the things I do, like being in a relationship and things like that. I don't procrastinate with other people and the things I got to do for them, but for myself, because it's just me, I can hold accountability. I can slack off. Uh, I also say at times I can be a little stubborn. Um, it's just just a thing about me. But when I understand and I know that I'm being stubborn, especially if somebody tells me and I see it, you know, hey, my bad, I apologize. And I can take part of it and move forward from it. And the third one, hmm. I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay. Two things for you, Justin, real quick. Um, okay. First, Jay the Gypsy, a female. She said, Justin, I'll be back in Atlanta in a week. How can I how can I get you to contact me? Let's cut the BS. LOL um Capella underscore star. So it's C A P E L L A underscore. I think it's two underscores. Star probably on Instagram. She paying to shoot her shot at you, Justin. I don't even know what my Instagram name is. I got a couple of photos on there. I don't be on it like that. Um, I think it's J Sim 80. J S. Well, before we get there, how would you want the woman to reach out to you? Um, email address. I know my email address, so I can give that out. Do you want to give that out to the world? To the world. I'm just gonna give this email to the world. Are you fine with that? To the world to the world. Um yeah, I can give out email. I Say it again. It. Yeah, I could give it our email address. You got your email address. Um, yeah. um, okay. Hold on one second. Um, I'm gonna read this in a second. Oh, also, I want you to clear this up now, because anything goes on my show. This show is open okay. to all types of dating things. So when you say your your partner passed, I know it's very sensitive. Uh, mm -hmm. but because you use the word partner, some cousins just want you to clarify because sometimes people will say partner in the same sex relationship. And if that's the case, you know, we don't care over here. We're open to everything. But just for clarity, and I think I did say one minute you agreed. Your partner that passed was a female? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know you you probably you probably not aware <laughs> of, of my show, but you gotta <laughs> you gotta be clear. You gotta be clear. Um Understood. you gotta because everything Understood. and again we open to everything. So if you don't judge what you desire. But just if you want the people to understand, you know, when you said partner, child, you raise you raise some flags. Oh, no. It's it's only woman. But that's it, only woman, nothing else. Okay, because yeah. you probably have some men say, Woo, woo officer, <laughs> officer. They can stop right officer. there. They can they can stop right there and leave it alone. Hey, leave it alone right there. Don't even uh woo! boost it up no more. <laughs> Let it be. <laughs> Let it be. You ever see Raw? <laughs> you ever see Raw? <laughs> he talks about and Ross, this is a funny Eddie Murphy joke. He said they'd be on the car and, and, and they, they, they the siren. Woo! I remember Woo! that. <laughs> I'm going to watch Raw after this show. Eddie Murphy's so damn funny. Okay, we got that clarity, cousins. We got that clarity, cousins. We got that clarity, cousins. All right. Mm -hmm. um, what's the age range you would date, Justin? Mm, i say about 30. Um, 30 to like... 40. 30 to 40. Okay. I, I would like to have um have some children, so um that's kind of what I want to Okay, you want kids. So you want someone that so you could she have kids already? She can, but I would like to not go over really one or two. Okay, you have one child that's seven. So you want more children. Okay, okay. So be a woman willing to have children. Do you want her to be in Atlanta, College Park area? She doesn't have to though, but um, you know that's great. You know, I'm I'm willing to, to travel a bit. Okay, and why would a woman be lucky to be with you? I think I'm all around good guy. Um, I got my head on straight. I'm a decent person. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking to find someone to be with somebody. That's why I'm here. I'm throwing myself out there. If you ask anybody who know me, they'll tell you um, I'm a great guy. Um. I got my stuff together. I got my own. I don't need a woman to support me or do anything for me. I just need a woman to be that side piece with me. Not side piece like that, but 
be that woman that'll support me and help me out, be my confidant, my best friend, my partner. So that's what I need. Okay, that's what you need. Um, all right, let's do it, Justin. I think women are ready for you, honey. Justin, right. College Park, 43, Leo. He works in law enforcement. Um, one child at seven, wants more children. And he's not really caring how much money you make. And I think you said, you know, be attracted to you, correct? There you go. Oh, and if, if you do have a child already, only have one. And also, you have to be a, a person who wants to have more children because he wants more children. He's ready to find his person. How could they reach out to you? Um, Because I don't know my Instagram. Um, you can, I think my Instagram is jsim80. I believe it is. I don't know. Uh, but if not, you can hit me on my, yeah. You can hit me on my email address, jsim, S-I-M-M, 80 uh, on Instagram. Okay. Um, or you can go to the email address, uh, Justin Simmons, eight, nine, three at ymail.com. Okay. And there you have it. All right, Justin, keep me posted how it goes, boo. Bye baby.